The common cold is a very common illness, but do you know how it occurs? Today I'm going to explore with you in depth the causes and mechanisms behind catching a cold. I hope through this video, everyone can better understand the ins and outs of the common cold and learn some scientifically proven prevention methods. So why do we catch colds? The common cold is a respiratory infectious disease, mainly caused by viruses. After entering the human body, viruses first colonize the upper respiratory tract mucous membrane cells, then start rapid proliferation and replication. Large amounts of viruses can damage mucosal cells, releasing pathogens and triggering local tissue inflammation. We often say that colds occur when our immunity is low. So what exactly is going on? It turns out that when the viral load is low, the normal immune system can clear the viruses without symptoms appearing. However, when resistance is reduced, immune cells' capacity to remove viruses decreases, allowing rapid viral propagation, leading to severe inflammatory response and onset of symptoms like rhinitis and pharyngitis. Apart from viruses and immunity, climate environment is another major factor influencing colds. Why do colds often occur in winter? This is because low temperature can cause respiratory tract mucosa to dry out for prolonged periods. Dry mucosa barrier function declines, becoming more vulnerable to viral invasion. Moreover, airborne viral concentration in winter is much higher than in summer. With these combined factors, colds are most likely to spread in winter. Therefore, the occurrence of colds is impacted by the interaction of viruses, immunity, and environmental conditions. To prevent colds, the most important thing is to maintain immune cell vitality, increasing viral clearance capability, and boosting resistance. This requires reasonable diet, appropriate exercise, and increased intake of micronutrients like vitamin C and D. I hope through today's video, given the climate with huge day-night temperature differences, everyone can better grasp the causation of colds and keep cold viruses at bay. Mechanism. Mechanism. 这个单字的意思是机制，指的是机器或过程中的一系统组成部分共同运作。例如 ，The mechanism of infection involves several steps. 这句话的意思是，感染的机制涉及几个步骤。Respiratory. Respiratory. 这个单字的意思是呼吸的，描述与呼吸或呼吸系统有关的东西。例如 ，respiratory infections often affect the nose and throat。这句话的意思是呼吸道感染通常会影响到鼻子和喉咙。mucosal。mucosal。这个单字的意思是黏膜的，它的意思是与身体黏膜相关的。例如 ，the mucosal lining of the nose filters out germs。这句话的意思是鼻子黏膜层可以过滤出病菌。immune，immune， Immune, 这个单字的意思是免疫的，指身体免疫系统抵抗疾病的。作为名词是 immunity。例如 ，when you get a vaccine， it helps build your immune defenses。这句话的意思是，接种疫苗可以增强你的免疫防御。Inflammatory, inflammatory， 这个单字的意思是炎症的，意思是会引起炎症
。这是身体对感染或损伤的反应。例如 ，The inflammation was a sign that his body was fighting the illness. 这句话的意思是，炎症是他的身体正在与疾病做斗争的迹象。Factor, factor， 这个单字的意思是因素，是指影响或造成某个结果的原因或要素。例如 ，Time management is one of the important factors for success。这句话的意思是，时间管理是成功的重要因素之一。Invasion, invasion. 这个单字的意思是入侵，指入侵或攻击的例子，像是病菌。例如 ，The body tries to prevent invasion by harmful microbe. 这句话的意思是，身体会试图防止有害微生物的入侵。Spread, spread. 这个单字的意思是传播，是动词，意思是散布或传播。例如 ，The flu virus can spread quickly from person to person。这句话的意思是，流感病毒可以快速的在人与人之间传播。Maintain，Maintain， Maintain, 这个单字的意思是维持，意思是维持或保持。例如。Healthy habits help maintain a strong immune system. 这句话的意思是，健康的生活习惯可以维持强健的免疫系统。Intake. Intake. 这个单字的意思是摄取，指摄取或消耗的量。例如 ，Vitamin C intake is important for immune health. 这句话的意思是，维他命 C 的摄取对免疫健康很重要。以上就是今天的单字介绍，希望这些单字能够帮助大家提高英语能力。谢谢大家。